will be discussing the fourth problem now in the fourth problem same we have to find out the balance of one book that is not given so as a reference we have the cash book and pass book along with the major entries that are made first in cash book and we have also the passbook with some major entries that are first made by the bank in passbook. Now, you already know if an entry is made in the cash book first on the debit side, the cash book balance will increase. So, when you are saying cash book balance is increasing, the passbook balance remains where it is, or you can say the passbook balance is decreasing. Now similarly, when an entry is made on the credit side, that is payment side of your cash book, the cash book balance decreases, arrow down indicates the balance is decreasing. So when cash book balance decreases, we say passbook balance for the same effect will increase. Now coming to passbook. When an entry is made on the debit side, according to the bank, the balance will decrease. Which balance? Your money in the bank. Now, similarly, if an entry is made on the payment, if the entry is made on the receipt side of passbook, that is the credit side, bank balance according to your bank will increase. Now, according to you, According to cash book, according to you means that is according to your cash book, it decreases. So, based on the simple rules, we will solve the fourth problem. Now, in fourth problem, it is stated on comparing the passbook of BBR Limited with its cash book bank column. As already said, always cash book in this chapter means we are talking about the bank column entries and bank column balance as per the cash book what you maintain. The following differences were noticed. Prepare BRS with the help of cash book balance rupees 15,000. Now, so bank reconciliation statement of you can write here BBR limited in your solution. Now since the date is not given, I am just ignoring it. Now what is given to us first? It is cash book balance, that is the bank balance as per cash book. So what we will write in the particular column, we will simply write balance as per cash book as per cash book now as stated he did not indicate whether it is favorable or unfavorable balance so when nothing is indicated always be positive it is favorable balance so what is the balance 15000 when it is favorable balance we will always write in plus column now you started with balance of cash book so your target that the that is the balance which you have to find is passbook so in your working notes write down this now as per the transaction a it states that check send for collection not yet realized means you deposited a check in bank the bank people have not yet collected the amount and added to your bank balance so if you see the cash book and pass book check deposited or sent for collection is an entry of cash book first so it is on the debit side so when you have entered this transaction on the debit side of cash book naturally cash book balance is increasing but your target is to find out pass book balance so what we say when cash book balance is increasing because of a transaction we exactly say the opposite for passbook. So we say passbook balance is decreasing. Now decreasing by how much? There is only one amount, the same amount it will decrease by 5600. So the rule is this amount has to be subtracted when the balance is decreasing. 
So here the passbook balance is decreasing, hence we minus this amount. So how to put it in the format? It is simple as discussed yesterday. You just write the given statement, what is given in the problem. That is you will be writing check sent for collection, not yet realized. So the amount has to be deducted, hence I am taking in the minus column 5600. Now let us move on to the transaction B. Now what does it state? Checks issued. What is the meaning of checks issued? You have given checks to someone or your suppliers etc. So checks issued but not yet presented for payment. You gave check to someone but that person did not go to bank and take money or he did not deposit in his bank account whatever may be the reason it is not yet presented for payment so check issued is entry in simple is in which book cash book so what is the rule this is check issued the b the b transaction so when you enter this here the cash book balance decreases but which book balance we are finding out passbook balance so when cash book balance is decreasing, we say passbook balance will increase. It is increasing by how much? 4200. Since there is a single amount, directly take that amount only. So when passbook balance is increasing, we add. Okay? Now, so you will simply write checks issued but not presented for payment. Since it is to be added, we write this 4200 in the addition column or plus column. Now moving on to the transaction C. Next, the receipt side of cash book has been overcast. The receipt side of cash book has been overcast. Now this is cash book, this is receipt side. Overcast means you took more amount, you took more amount. So when you take amount on the receipt side, naturally cash book balance will increase because though it is an error, it will increase. Later on you may correct it but as per the instructions given, we need not correct the cash book balance now. Now, so there is some amount on the debit side of cash book. Overcast means some amount is extra. On which side? Receipt side. So when something is there on the receipt side of cash book, what will happen to cash book balance? It will increase. But we are finding out passbook balance. So exactly the opposite. So passbook balance decreases. So in this case, the passbook balance will decrease by 300. So whenever the the balance what you are finding out here you are finding out passbook balance because it is decreasing v minus so hence you write receipt side of cash book overcast so we have to minus 300 so enter 300 in the minus column now next a check drawn on firm's current account wrongly debited in a saving account 2000 100. Now you have to be careful with this transaction. A check drawn from firm's current account. You always know businesses are supposed to open current account with the bank or the bank accounts of businesses which are opened in the name of businesses or a businessman is nothing but a current account. So what did you do? The Here the organization gave Check. check drawn means it is check given. Check drawn means nothing but check given. So it was given for the business current account. That means it is a miss, it is a, we entered on the credit side. Wrongly debited in its saving account 2100. So you gave the check. So when you gave the check, you entered 2100 here. So when you enter 2100 here, the cash book balance is coming down. Bank also entered it, but it entered it on the debit side of your savings account. You all know you can have multiple accounts with your bank. 
so one current account you can have one savings account etc etc so here you gave a check and you recorded it in your bank the person whom to you gave to you the person to whom you gave the check went to the bank and collected the money but what did bank people do they entered it in your account that is it should be reflected in your passbook but they entered in another passbook of yours related to a second account what you have with the bank so that means in this case no entry has been made by the bank in the passbook as a result we say cash book is less passbook is more why because it is a cash book entry on the payment side so cash book balance is coming down then you are finding out passbook balance so when cash book balance comes down passbook balance will increase increase means add how much is the amount here 2100 so enter 2100 in addition column indicating the same transaction in the particular column now come moving on to the last transaction of the problem a check of 900 deposited into bank check of 900 deposited into bank but forgot to enter in the cash book you deposited a check so you should enter here so when you have deposited you enter here your cash book balance should increase but you did not do that that means there will be no impact on the cash book balance so that means you have committed a mistake what is the mistake you did not enter the amount on the receipt side of your cash book so the rule is when you are supposed to enter here you did not enter it is a mistake so when it is a mistake we assume the opposite that is the bank will do it correctly means when you enter this side ultimately bank has to enter on the receipt side of passbook provided it is correctly done by you.